Hi friends, I'm here with the yoga offering. As always, please go at your own pace, rest whenever you need to, and feel free to skip things or change things if they're not working for you. Let's begin sitting. If you have something you want to sit up on, you might grab it, a blanket, a cushion, block. And we'll begin with eyes closed, taking a few moments to slow down. Feel your body where it is right now. And you're welcome to keep your eyes closed or open them as it's useful for you throughout your practice. Let's begin by taking the right arm up. We'll bend it straight back on itself. Grab your elbow and take it back. As you do so, you might drop the ribs, draw the belly in, move around a little. And then release, arm up. Open it out, take it across, hook with the other arm, hugging it in as close as you can. At the same time, pull back through your shoulder, so you're still square across your chest. Release, arm out, rotate your thumb to point down, bring it around behind your back, interlace fingers at the waist, pull the knuckles towards the front of the room, and then Elbows go towards one another. Start to circle your right shoulder, purposefully seeking out what may be a little creaky or tight here. And then reach both arms back, open up the chest and fold forward. Maybe reaching arms up and back away from you. Let's release, come up, hands to knees, round back. Lean away from your hands on your knees, drop your chin. And then roll your way back up. Let's recross the legs so the other leg is in front or on top. Take the left arm up, bend it straight back. Grab hold of it and take it back. Drop the ribs, draw the belly in, and feel free to move around a little, exploring within each shape. And then release, arm up. Open it out, take it across, hook with the other arm, hug it in close, drawing back through your left shoulder. And then release, arm out, rotate your thumb to point down, wrap it around behind your back, interlace fingers at the waist, this time other thumb on top, knuckles towards the front, Elbows towards one another, and then circle your left shoulder. Reach both arms back, open up the chest, and then fold whatever amount, maybe just dropping your head, maybe coming part way or all the way to the floor. release, come up, hands to knees, round back, lean away from your hands on your knees. And roll your way up and then bring your feet to the floor, hip width apart, shift your hands to the floor in front of your feet, take a little rock front to back. As you rock your weight forward, looking for a stretch through the toes, as you rock back, getting into calves, ankles, Achilles tendon. And then drop the heels, lift the hips, and come to hang in ragdoll. 
Let your head release. Maybe a little sway or shake out here. Hmm. And then plant your hands near the front of your mat. Step back into a high push-up position. Connect your head to your heels. And then shift your weight forward to lower down, low push-up. Come into your back bend. And this could be as low or high as feels right for you. A little baby cobra or testing the waters. Does deeper feel good right now? And back to down dog when you're ready. Take your time getting into this first down dog. You might pedal out your feet, bending one knee as you press the opposite heel towards the floor. Drop the knees, sink back to child's pose, releasing hips to the heels, forehead to the floor. With arms out in front of you, walk your hands over to the left and pull back through your right hip, stretching right side a little more. Come through center and over to the other side. Pull back through your left hip, stretching left side a bit more. And back to center. Lift up through table, come back through down dog, bend your knees, look forward and lightly hop or step your feet to the front of your mat. Inhaling, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Again, inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, step or hop your feet back, lower down, up dog or cobra, back to down dog. This time from down dog, take your right leg up, bend your knee in, and start circling this bent right knee. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight, circle your ankle a few times, big circles, both directions. Take your leg a little higher and then bring your right knee towards right upper arm. Extend it up and back. Take it across towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. And right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Big step forward, high lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, settle in, sink low. Grab your left wrist, take it over for a little side bend. Come over to the other side. And back to center, interlace fingers behind your back. Lift the heart. Hips low, chest high. Release arms up. Tip forward, standing splits, hands to the floor or to a couple blocks. Do this with hips square and with the upper body letting go, just like ragdoll. Last breath here. Step back, warrior one. Let's open out, warrior two. Reaching fingertip to fingertip, long spine, long arms. 
and then flip the right palm to face the ceiling, reverse warrior two. Straighten the front leg, triangle. You can bring your hand to your shin, your ankle, a block or the floor. Last breath here. Release, hands to the floor, make your way to down dog. Feel free to take a vinyasa or any other movement transition. You could skip things, add your own things. From down dog when you're ready, left leg sweeps up, bend your knee in, and start circling this bent left knee. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight, circle your ankle a few times, big circles, both directions. Take your leg a little higher and then bring the left knee towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Take it across towards right upper arm. Send it up and back. Now right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Big step forward, high lunge. Inhale, arms up, settle in, sink low. Grab your right wrist, take it across, little side bend. Come over to the other side, grab your left wrist, take it across. Back to center, interlace fingers behind your back, other thumb on top this time. Arms up, tip forward, standing splits. Square off the hips, finding ease through the upper body, your head, your neck. Last breath here, step back. Warrior one. Open out, warrior two. Flip the left palm, reverse warrior. Straighten the front leg, triangle. Last breath here. Release, make your way to down dog. From down dog, let's take a pigeon pose, right side. Slide the right knee forward, scoot back through the left leg, help the hips get as low as they'll go, and see if some support would be useful here. Feel free to put something under your hip, your chest, your forehead. Allowing the weight of your body to release towards the floor. Let's bring the upper body back up. If you have something under your right hip, move it out of your way so you can lean to the right. 
Swing the back leg around to the front and then lean to the left and send the right leg back. And if that didn't get you into your pigeon pose, find your way there. Might need to adjust the angle of the front leg, adjusting props, and then settle towards the floor. Let's bring the upper body back up. If you have something under your hip, move it. So you can lean to the left. This time, bring the right foot to the outside of the left knee, getting set up for a seated spinal twist. Both sit bones grounded. Right hand to the floor behind you. Left arm can either hug the knee or hook to the outside of the knee. As you inhale, sit a little taller. As you exhale, rotate more. Keep looking for space as you twist. Last breath here. Release, unwind, and switch. Other leg on top. Left hand to the floor behind you, right arm hugs or hooks. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, rotate. One more deep breath. Unwind. And let's come back onto our backs. Bring your knees in. Take a little circle or rock. Drop your feet to the floor, getting set up for bridge. Feet hip width apart, parallel. Make sure your feet are right under your knees. Press your feet down, lift your hips high. Once your hips are high enough, Interlace your fingers behind your back. Shrug your shoulders underneath you. Spread the upper back, lower back away from one another. Take your arms out of your way. Roll down and rest. You can enjoy this rest until you feel like coming up again. If you feel like coming up again, take another back bend. Could be bridge, what we just did, or half wheel or full wheel. Any back bend you know or want to try. And stay as long or short as you like. Whenever the pose feels complete, come down and rest. And then move into a counter stretch. Could be knees to chest, a forward fold, happy baby or something else. If you're not sure, happy baby's a good one. Grabbing the feet, press your knees towards the floor. You can keep the knees bent or straighten them. Just check in with your body. What's still needed to wrap up this practice? If you want to keep practicing longer, that's of course always an option. If you're ready to wrap things up with me now, take whatever last pose or stretch would feel right for you. Could be an inversion, could be a restorative pose, could be a little self-massage. Eventually coming into a symmetrical, relaxed position. A 
Letting go. <sighs> Let go of the control of your breath. Let go of the weight of your body. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, gently waking your body up again. And let this movement increase gradually through your wrists and ankles, eventually stretching out long through your arms and legs. When you're ready, bring your knees in. And roll to one side, pausing there for a moment. And then use your hands to help you up to sitting. We'll bring hands together at the heart. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you have a good rest of your day.